In this tutorial, we will take a look at saving a list or library as a template so it can be used to create new lists or libraries by yourself or others throughout the company. Let's say you create and customize a list for one site and find you need to create the same or similar list in other sites. It is extremely inefficient to repeatedly go through the process of recreating the list and customizing it each time. Instead, you can create a template from a list you have created. Then you create a new list based on the list template anywhere throughout the site collection. Here on the IT site, the Help Desk has created a custom list for frequently asked questions. They also created a custom view for the list to group the questions by category. They are now getting requests from other departments, such as HR and training, to show them how to create an FAQ list. We will save the IT Help Desk FAQ list as a template so the other departments can create their own just as easily as any other SharePoint built-in list, like a calendar or task list. The template will save the list structure as well as the custom view. So from the list here, to save it as a template, we go to the List tab, and then choose List Settings. Under Permissions and Management, click on Save List as Template. First, we specify a file name, which I'm just going to call FAQ and then we give the template a name. The template name is what users will see when creating a list. And I'm going to name this FAQ list. Users will also see the description after they click on the template name. You can use the description to elaborate on the purpose or functionality of a list template. If you want the template to contain all the data currently in the list, check the Include Content checkbox. This may be helpful if the list template contained information such as customers or vendors. But any group creating an FAQ list will be populating it with different sets of questions, so we would not want to include the content from the IT FAQ. So then I'll go to the bottom here and click OK to save the template. A window displays that the template was created successfully. In this window is a link to the list template gallery where you can manage the list templates that have been created. So click on this link, and I see the template I've just created. If I click on the Edit button, I can change the template file name, the title, and the description. I can also delete the template from here as well. So I'll cancel out of here, and then I'll return to the IT site. If you ever need to get back to the template gallery in the future, you must start from the home page, and then choose Site Actions, Site Settings, and under Galleries, choose List Templates. So next, I will create an FAQ list from this template on the Human Resources site. So I'll navigate to Human Resources, and you would follow the steps you normally would to create any list or library, going to Site Actions, More Options. I'll choose to filter by List Templates. And here's the FAQ list template I just created. I'll select that, and then I'll give it a name. And I'll call this HR FAQ. And I'll click on More Options. And for navigation, yes, I want to link on the Quick Launch. And then I'll click Create. And here's my new FAQ list in the HR site. I'll click on Add New Item to add a the first question here. I just want to show you that this category field is a drop-down choice list. And notice it has the choices that were created in the IT department. So that is something that will have to be changed now that we're in HR because they will have different categories for their questions. So I'll cancel out of here. And to make that change, I'll go up to the List Settings button. And down in the column section, I'll click on the column name category. And here are the choices I need to change. I've replaced the IT choices with the choices for the HR FAQ. I'll choose OK to save. And back to the settings screen. So I'll click on the list name, get back to the FAQ list, I'll click on add new item. And now when I click the drop down for the category, we see the new ones appropriate for HR. So I'll fill in this first question here. 
I finished filling in this first question and then I'll choose save. And you can see that this list is going to default to grouping the questions by category just like they did in the IT list. So when I expand the benefits category, we'll see the question that I had created. So as demonstrated, we took an existing list, saved it as a template so others can use it to create a list from it. Then they can modify it as needed for their use.